Hello friends, welcome to a beautiful day 31 of 100 Days, 100 Ways to Study Your Scriptures. I'm here today in high spirits because I'm going on a little vacation for a few days. And my biggest problem is how am I going to study my scriptures when I'm gone? Seriously, that is my biggest problem, so I'm super pumped. Okay, I just want to show you a few things here. Sometimes when I've gone on vacation, especially when I was teaching seminary, I would bring my mammoth scriptures with me in and all I would bring was a carry-on it took up a lot of space it was very heavy so I've decided to downsize a little bit so I first I'm going to show you what I normally use in a week to study my scriptures number one this is my hefty oh see how big it is nine by seven this is my come follow me study that I like to use so I'll use this for a day or two and then the rest of the week it's not as hefty, but it's kind of big. It is my just scripture journaling that I do my day-to-day -day things in. So those are kind of big. In conjunction with some scriptures, this is super big to bring on an airplane with me in my carry-on, and I'm not going to do it. I'm going to use technology to my advantage. So the first thing I'm going to bring is my phone. I have my scriptures on my phone. I have come follow me on my phone. So I'm set there. I'm embracing technology and I'm going to use that. But I still need a journal. That's tip number one. You need a journal. So I went to Miniso, okay, a couple years ago, and I got this journal. I think it was around $5 and it's really cute and it's really neat, but I had nothing to use it for. So I'm trying to use up what I have this year. So I'm going to use this journal. So it's kind of like a traveler's notebook, which is fitting because I'm traveling and it's something you can kind of put everything in. So it's kind of cool. So, uh, here's what it looks like. The top, the side, it's got this elastic here. It's got a cute little band here, cute little ornamentation. So what you do with this journal is you take this elastic part off and then you can open up and get to your journals so there's two journals in here here's the first journal and it is plain right it's just brown inside it's cream colored pages with graph paper and I am excited to use this for my scripture journaling this week um, I'll show you how to take it out of the little journal so this is an elastic and this elastic is holding it into place I really like to snap elastics I'm finding so you pull this out and you do you go and you write and you do all your journaling and then when you're done for the day you can put it back in so you take the elastic and you stick your little journal back in like a so oh it's just simple just simple there we go just like so actually pretty it's pretty nice and it's pretty neat I feel a little bit nervous about bringing something so plain I don't want to bring all of my uh, stickers and pens and tapes and everything like that like I'm just trying to bring this just use pen and paper so there's that journal then there's another one here which is just craft paper inside which I think is perfect I can document my vacation on here so I really like that idea and I can maybe put pictures and things like that. And then at the back of the journal, there's these little pouches. So I can put um, like plane ticket souvenirs. And if we go to an amusement park, I can put in different souvenirs for that. So there's some pages like that. And then a little, a little envelope here. So this is what I'm going to use. And that is it. So then I was thinking, what am I going to study while I'm on my trip here? So this little book I made last year, it's called Scripture Journaling 101. My friend asked me to come teach their young women a little bit about scripture journaling. And so I made a little workbook for the girls, which I felt like it was pretty well received. And I think when I'm done my 100 days, I will make a bigger workbook, just if anyone is interested, and sort of as a journal for myself for this little journey that I'm doing. So for Scripture Journaling 101, I just came up with um, a few ways to study the scriptures. So you can see here, you can study, you can do a scripture squeeze at the top. You can study by topic. 
you can study by person, many, many, many ways to study your scriptures. And I was really um, into making this cute. I have lots of cute pens and cute stickers and things like that. So this time I'm going to go through the exact same topics, but I'm leaving the cute behind and I'm just going to get right into it instead. So, but I'm going to study the same topics. So I'll go day by day. So the first day, the first thing I'm going to do is called a scripture squeeze. So I'll tell you all about it tomorrow and how it went. I'm just going to choose a different scripture this year than I chose last year. Instead of making it cute in here, I'm going to put it in here and we'll see how it goes for studying my scriptures while on vacation. I'm trying to make it fun for myself so that I'll be anxious to do it because I really do love to study the scriptures every day. So this is what I'm doing for my week. I hope you have a great day studying your scriptures and I can't wait to see you tomorrow.